Hey, what's up? This is Chosen. It is April 14th, and this is going to be your Raid Shadow Legends recap video heading into the middle of the week. And we also have a gem giveaway in this one, so let's get into it. Alrighty, so first of all, for the gem giveaway, all you got to do is leave a comment down below and then put your player ID down there so that I can get you the gems if you win. All you got to do is go in the game up to the far top left and then click info and click copy ID. Paste it in the comment section and you are entered to win the giveaway. Tomorrow, about 24 hours from the time of me launching this video, I will pick up a random comment picker from YouTube. We'll do it live on stream and I will pick five random winners. And then as long as you've got your ID pasted down below, I can send it to Polarium and boom, you will have your gems deposited usually within about a day or two. So super simple. All you gotta do is spend five seconds to copy and paste your player ID down below and you are eligible to win 540 gems and be one of the five winners. Also, right now, obviously, the big thing going on in the game is the main fusion event for Under Priest Brogdy. Now, I do have a champion guide already where we dive in uh, with a maxed Under Priest Brogdy, and I do some testing with them, a dedicated video guide. So I will remember to link up there if you want to check that out if you have not seen that already. And then this weekend, starting on Friday, not at the time of me saying this, we are going to have two X Ancients launching this weekend. We do finally have confirmation from Polarium. We thought it was going to be this weekend if they went by the normal rotation, and they are. So we are getting 2x Ancients this weekend. But remember, you want to wait until the aesthetic of the portal changes. There will be like a blue beam shooting up probably. And then when you click on the eye, it will show you that Legendaries are 1% and Epics are 16% on your Ancient Shards. So wait until that indicator is there. I did also tweet this calendar to go along with the Under Priest Brogni events so you can keep track of what is when. And the 16th is Friday, and you can see that we've got a champion training event launching on April 16th. And then down below, we have also got a champion chase tournament. So those things will be kind of kicking off and coinciding with the two X Ancients that are going on this weekend. And then another thing I want to get you caught up on is the clan versus clan beta. Now, uh, I was in one of the clans selected for the clan versus clan beta. I believe our clan is rank 22nd. Let me go into clans, uh, rankings, and we go down here. So yeah, uh, we are literally tied for 22nd with V Loyalty. And that is actually who our match ended up being in clan versus clan. So the matchmaker looks like at least in our case it just puts you next to somebody or versus somebody that is really close to you in rank because it's literally chofly elite versus v loyalty and we're both tied for rank 22 on raid so uh clan versus clan is this little tab right here and then it shows a little a, a little like uh tracker there of the points it's the 2.4 million versus the 1.5 million usually i think because of time zones this will change kind of depending on who's awake and who's sleeping and and, and and the time zones for the different members of the clans because we tend to wake up in the morning right now and be pretty far behind and then we catch up and get kind of close over the course of the rest of the day. So it's a pretty even match. I think they may end up winning by a little bit when all the when all the points are tallied here in about 22 hours or so. And, and the thing about Clan vs. Clan is I think the coolest part of it is kind of looking at the different members and kind of seeing how active everybody in your clan is right now. You really get a nice breakdown of who's doing what and who's playing the game the most and getting the most done. So you get you get this nice little points breakdown of exactly who's super active in your clan. I think that's the coolest part, honestly, is that you can really get a good picture of the landscape as far as what is going on with the different members in your clan. And then even if you lose your match, you do get the different milestone rewards here. You can see we got energy, uh, corn hammer, silver. Again, these rewards are not huge, but this is for free. Even if you even if you end up losing the match, you're going to get these different milestones and just collect some random free stuff. So all in all, it's a net positive. But the thing is uh, about the matchmaker and trying to like clutch out and win matches I don't think it's a good idea, honestly, um, just because like, okay, so let's say we're a little bit behind in this match and we go, we really rally at the troops. Okay, we need to dump all of our resources, spend some money and really try to clutch out this win and beat this clan we're going up against. Okay, great. We do that. Then what? We're just going to face a team that spends even more and spends even more resources than this one. So then the, so it's just going to be kind of a snowball that keeps rolling downhill of having to spend more and more money and dump more and more resources uh and eventually you're gonna hit a point where you're either bankrupt or or you're facing clans that you just don't have a chance against so i think the the best way to treat this unless you're just uh in like a top five clan in the world where everybody's spending 
three thousand dollars a month or something i i think the best route is to just kind of naturally play the game actively and, and try to min max your points as best you can within the normal framework of what you're willing to do in raid and if you lose whatever take your free milestone rewards and, and call it a day and if you win great you can collect some of the extra rewards that are going to come along with the bonuses from winning but i think uh letting your clan devolve into like making everybody throw money uh it's not going to do any good because then we're just going to face somebody higher ranked than v loyalty we're just going to have we're just going to have an even tougher match next and have to spend even more so there's really nothing to gain from from doing that resource and money dump in my opinion so it, like if we lose this one v loyalty is going to face someone harder than us who spends even more and is even more active or whatever and we're gonna face someone easier than v loyalty so we'll eventually get to a point where our natural raid playing is going to be enough to compete and they're gonna keep kind of snowballing and getting to a point where they have to just keep spending more and more and throwing more and more at the game so uh all in all i think it's gonna be a net positive i think they could do uh different things to make it more like teamwork like i, I was talking with darth about this I would have it set up like a Doom Tower, where each team ha sets up different stages, and they have to use different champions uh, to set up like, uh, like like defense teams. And then the other team has to theory craft and go against those teams. And then whichever team can climb highest uh, uh, through the other team's Doom Tower would be the winner. And then it would also, tr on top of that, track some of these different objectives and see where you're so having kind of like a multi-pronged competition where you've got your activity in raid as one part of it and then you've also got each team kind of setting up different doom towers for the other team to have to try and clear and go against so something like that would have been a lot more fun have a little bit more skill a little bit more teamwork involved in it instead of just hey who spent the most money and who and who did the most stuff um but all in all because of the milestone rewards it ends up being a net positive if these milestone rewards weren't here and you weren't at least getting like some stuff then it would be much more of a fail in my opinion if you weren't able to get these milestone rewards and then also keep track of the, the landscape of your clan and then also another big feedback thing would be under the objectives tab some of these have limits like potion keep uh it's, it's 2x points until a limit of 400 then you're not going to get the 2x anymore but i believe you can still acquire points it just won't be the 2x but these different uh, objective tabs they should show you how many points you have like even the points breakdown doesn't show you how many it just kind of expands it and gives you a look at it but it should say like champion objectives 2500 campaign objectives 5000 like it should show you how many points you've acquired so far on that different tab that would make it a much better like like much easier to track exactly how you compare to these different two x's and when you're going to max them out and stuff but yeah that's kind of my initial thoughts on clan versus clan um i like that they are adding things to the game and like i said because of the milestone rewards i think it's going to end up being a net positive but uh there, there is a lot more they could do here to make it a, an amazing feature to the game instead of something that's just kind of like eh, okay i mean i'll take it then before we dive into the tournaments and the events i didn't want to touch on something about the fusion event i know we've heard a lot of people talking about it within the community and i wanted to get your guys' thoughts on exactly how you felt about this fusion event and get a, a sample size out there in terms of a poll in different opinions so let me pull that up for you i had this on my channel uh 3, votes it's it, it's a decent sample size to get to get an idea so i wanted to show this to you in case you haven't seen it yet but uh i basically just asked which one of these most describes your thoughts on the under priest brogni fusion event and just in general and how those different things relate to each other and it cast me at five choices so i, I tried my best to kind of get a, a wide spectrum here but the 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 number one response by far is it's too hard and unfair so uh looks like people are a little bit disappointed with how hard it is going to be and i think the main reason is uh the fact that there's only like 100 or 105 fragments for each of the epics so you really got to be on your toes you got to really be min maxing they used to have like 120 125 maybe even 140 plus fragments for each champion so you could actually like if, let's say you're low on silver you could be like okay i know i gotta skip the artifact enhancement events but i'm really gonna go hard on the other stuff so you could kind of plan the best route you can't really do that the way they structured this you've really got to go hard in the paint on every single event and you can't miss out on anything and i think that's the main concern and uh what what drove that to be the number one response then we've got it's tough but fair because he's great coming in at 20 percent and then neutral was also tied with that at 20 percent and then down below uh the other ones didn't have much representation so that was definitely the top three there was either neutral 
or it's tough, but it's fair because he's a great champ. And then by far, the biggest response was it's too hard and unfair. And like I said, I think because of the way the fragments were structured. But then as far as what's going on in game right now, we do have the Barogni Dragon Tournament going on. So you definitely want to pay attention to the right side here in the next day and a half or so and get your 15 fragments for this 2,050 points. Uh, if you're really trying to min-max after that, you may want to let this one go uh, because you do get enough fragments for uh, the stuff without doing the PvP stuff on the left side. Like I showed you on that calendar, let me go ahead and pull that up here. The calendar, uh, you can see at the bottom right there, uh, it's going to say 105 plus 20. That means there's 125 total fragments. The 105 is the guaranteed ones that you're eligible for on the right side of, of the stuff while avoiding the PvP. So uh, if you're really trying to min-max it, you're going to get to the 2050 and then you're going to save your resources for other stuff. Then if we go back to the main tab here, the champion training is ending in 20 hours, but this is not part of the uh, Brogni Fusion. So uh, this one's totally justified to skip and kind of save some of your champion training resources for some of the fusion stuff that is coming. But there is core hammers here at 4225. So pay attention if you're close to that. That might be a good threshold to at least get to. Uh, then we've got a classic arena takedown basically starting tomorrow. And that is going to be part of the fusion calendar. If we pull that up, you can see arena takedown over there as classic arena one starting on the 15th. Then under the events tab, we do have a Barogni artifact enhancement. So you are going to want to at least get to this 2000 in the next day or so, that top row. And again, if you're trying to min-max, you may want to stop there. But this weekend, we do have the 2X Ancients. So if you've got enough silver, getting to this 5600 for the 2X Ancients this weekend may be handy. Then if we come back out, we've got Dungeon Divers. This is not part of the fusion, so uh, you, you can kind of just treat this as it is and, and let it occur naturally. Let's focus on the Brogni fusion points. And then remember to do your daily fusion warm-up. Now, in my last video, some of you kind of noticed that I misspoke about this. I, I, I was talking live and, and my head got mixed up, and I said, get your daily 240 points. That's not right. It, it's a total of 240 points, and it should be get your daily 60 points. You can see up here at the top, uh, you've got your, your 60 daily points allowed before you can stop accruing them. So make sure you're hitting that threshold daily, and it comes from just kind of leveling things up. You can see here the level upgrades and the rank upgrades. Make sure you're doing that little bit uh, every day so you get those points, and you can kind of get these rewards that are easy to scoop up. But all right, now let's head on to the shop and see if there's anything worth going after today. Remember, we want to pay attention to things that'll help us with the fusion or Ancient Shards because that's coming up this weekend for the 2X. But we've got 28 times 4 is 32 brews. And then we've got the rank 4 times 3 and 1. And then the 4 epic and the 2 legendary 2.24. So technically not that bad. Uh, borderline in, in terms of being something I would look into uh, if all the resources were, rel were relevant to me currently. But uh, yeah, I, I would kind of focus towards Ancient Shards and energy honestly at this point so i think the monthly pack would be a better option if you had to kind of choose on which one you wanted right now uh let's go a thousand energy 800 gems and then we're gonna go five three and one on the shards yeah 2.57 so this one i think if you haven't scooped up the monthly pack and you're looking to buy uh something right now that would be the much better route to go uh the mega mix uh, this will be good for like champion training type stuff. Uh, we got 160 brews, uh, five days of XP, 350 gems, and then we're going to go eight and 10 on the chicken, uh, 2.01. So, and wouldn't be something I would be in the market to get. Uh, and we don't want $25 for cruel gear. And hey, uh, first time I've seen a warrior circle pack in a very long time. So super hype. But I don't think this is one of the ones I'm looking for. Uh, we're going to go 60 XP brews, 300 gems, 375k. And then we're going to go three five-star chicken. Yep, boom, 1.87. So uh, not the worst offer in the game, but uh, in terms of the Warrior Circles pack, they're usually a, a lot better than this, so I wouldn't buy this one. But let's get that put away and wrap up here. So remember, uh, the gem giveaway, don't forget to leave your comment. You're going to want to go up your top left under info, copy ID, paste it down below. And then tomorrow, live on stream, we will pick... Uh, a random comment generator and we will select five winners to win the 540 gems so don't forget to make yourself eligible for that if you're watching this video right when it goes live i will be over on stream for a few hours afterwards there's a link down below in a pinned comment if you want to come hang out talk about this stuff and play some raids so uh have a great middle of your week thank you for watching have a good rest of your day peace